Okay, girl, that was creepy. Oh my, <laughs> my god. god. Th that's the ultimate jump scare right there. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The Horror Bandwagon. <laughs> My name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another movie night reaction. Tonight, we are finally sitting our asses down and watching Grave Encounters 2. Mm -hmm. Now, before you go into this reaction, make sure that you check out our Grave Encounters 1 reaction, but it's also your life, so you do what you want. You don't have to follow <laughs> the rules. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is the channel where I try to make my lovable yet skeptical one wonderful fiance try to fall in love with anything and all things horror and i am a huge scaredy cat so that's gonna be quite the adventure yeah it's like a mixture of uh tearing down a movie but also running away from it <laughs> and on top of that list is found footage movies mm -hmm. so the first one was quite a ride but it also had some gags it did have some gags. it had some gags some twists so to kind of quickly catch everybody up from the first one spoiler alert in gravy counters one pretty much everybody died mm -hmm. um and i think they were in an asylum where they were doing like lobotomies to the patients is that right yes okay and they went in and then all the doors were like bye and <laughs> yeah that's it, that's it, that's it. Quirky stuff ensues. Mm -hmm. So we honestly feel like that was a pretty tight end, mm, tight end, um, to the first movie. So I'm kind of interested what they're gonna do with the second one. Yeah. But before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about this movie and anything else that's on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters. That's ese tipo de películas fan footage que le llaman que son. Wait, like the movie that we just watched mm -hmm. like a few months ago? Freaky shit in there with people's faces being all like, what? I can't tell if that shit is real. Wait, that was actually horrifying. Uh -huh. I thought her face actually contorted. What I want to know is that are these actual reviews that came out when the movie came out? I don't know. And also, we apparently missed our deadline because we did not submit anything. <laughs> Encounters uh, pass. One skull out of four. I believe that's it for this week. This has been... Uh... I think he's more critical than you are. Probably. <laughs> Jennifer. Why am I not filming? Dude, where's Alex? I don't know. Is he here? No. Did he come with you? He did not come with me. Oh, she's like, anybody but you. Anybody but you. Kidding me? There's a real pussy out there waiting for you, man. Jen wants your body, bro. Jennifer's eye. Like I said. Like oh, this is the guy who just reviewed the movie. Mm hmm. Huh, okay. Oh, no, absolutely fucking not. Well, what's the costume? Oh. Enough. You let me talk me into this. Honestly, I think the wig is the travesty. Yeah. The wig, it's a great outfit. I think you look good in it. <laughs> Quick cuts, giant lens flares, CGI. They need to go back to using models and makeup yes. effects. Yes, they do. Girl. <laughs> oh my god. Where the fuck are those guys in our generation? Where the fuck are you? Film school fucks is the next craven. You can honestly pick this guy up and put him in 2023. <laughs> Just like drop him into the horror hour. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And that's Laurie Strode in the most recent Halloween oh films. Oh. No, because it needs to be said oh. now. This is this not again. And I'm allowed to say shit like that. Hurry on, motherfuckers! <laughs> oh, oh God. no, mm. Th that's the ultimate jump scare right there. Mm. Imagine getting drunk and just being like, "I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on a movie." I got to make the best I can. The the yeah, horror movie genre sucks. <laughs> really drunk? Icky <laughs> that you. What the fuck, man? Why the fuck would you put that up? Take it down. I love whoever collected this footage is blurring out all the nudity. 
Hi, do you guys know where I can find uh, weed? Marijuana? Yo, dude, I am. He sounds so sketchy. Yeah. Hey, uh. Hey, but it worked. Oh, that's the guy for the first one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send the video. Uh, death awaits. <laughs> Message death awaits. Very on the nail. Uh huh. Death awaits. Let's go. That's kind of like Tony Todd coming in and telling you, like, go here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this a movie? Gary. Are we watching a movie? Gary, stop. That's enough. Don't be such a tease, Stacy. You know you like it. <laughs> Is this his film? Oh, this is his quote unquote changing the genre film. A year ago tonight, that your father disappeared. You need to move on already. Yeah, I think it's so good. <laughs> yeah. So good. Hello? Who's out there? Why do you say there like that? I, I love this line. Who's out, Who's out there? there? Oh shit. Personally, I love the like decorative, like crisscrossy cut. <laughs> <laughs> Is the guy supposed to stand up after he's dead? That that doesn't make any sense. That's gonna be an awesome jump scare. Trust me, man. I know what I'm doing. He's got a point. How is he just standing there? Is that is that a phone number or something? 49, 14, 120. Nah, it's too many numbers to be a phone number. Oh, is that Unless coordinates? It's... Okay, so that jump scare is still very effective. Yes. I think something running at you from a dark hallway is always going to be effective. Kenny Sandoval, suicide, 2004 self inflicted shotgun wound. The dude went crazy. What about your. Oh no. And I thought he made it out alive that. Even, even, even the custodian. In contact with them, please just comment back. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, we're getting more footage from Flash and Burn. Help! Help! Oh, this is giving very saw. Yeah, I was gonna say for someone who is going to be doing something so original, it feels so very derivative. Ooh. Then, then fighting words. No, 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 no. Oh. I love that she did not react whatsoever to take it out of tooth. Did you like it? It, it was good. It was, it was good. I just, uh, I just got some, I'm just trying to think of this. Oh, he's like, I got some notes. I got some notes and we'll, we'll talk about it later. Good, I'll give you that, but it's cliche, man. Look, this is a guy in a mask and grill getting tied up. We've seen this before. Yeah, dude, it's, it's fucking torture porn, man. But is this not your movie? <laughs> like, well, you that's can... why he doesn't like it. He's like, no, we got to go a different direction. It came with a phone number. It's uh, local to Washington, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe it has something to do with his mom. I can just imagine like the the asylum ghosts just going, all right, let me log into my YouTube to message him. Why do you want to speak to Sean? Well, I'm doing a thesis project on a film he was a part of called Grave Encounters. I'm trying to get an- That voice sounded familiar. Watch us like Lin Shay. Just I literally think it was Lin, Lin Shay, but I don't know. This is my friend, Trevor. Hi, I'm Trevor. Uh, nice to meet you. Why did you come in before you catch cold? Yeah, thank you. Not Lynch Day. Darn it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine as well. Thing. I think we're all good. How's the, how's the friend? Looks hot. All right. Mrs. Rogerson is... Looks <laughs> <laughs> hot! I'm so pleased to see you. He loves it when people come around to visit. Why did you wait up in his room? He'd like that. It's up the stairs on the right. For some reason, I do not trust the, the mom. I don't know why. Look at this. I don't think anyone's lived here for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's collecting dust, girl. Uh-oh. We just want to talk to Sean for a second. Oh, Sean can be back real soon. Just, just as soon as he gets back it. from oh, the, the hospital. Oh, no. That's actually pretty sad if you think about it. Yeah. She knew about grave encounters. <laughs> Look at her. She's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. That's not nice. Yeah, I'll leave her alone. She lost her son, who was apparently alive, I think. Vancouver City Registrar, okay? The RCMP has a fucking case file dated March 28th. I don't care. 2003. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Me trying to explain Cody like a movie that I like. I don't care. <laughs> That's not very nice. 
I smile and nod. <laughs> Jen is probably the only girl on this campus you have the slightest chance of getting your dick wet with. True. Yeah. <laughs> so true. It was like oh. nobody asked for your input, but it's also so real. So real. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck? Okay, girl, that was creepy. You know that name? Jerry Hartfield, he produced Grave Encounters. Oh, we get to follow up with that character. Cause he was only like in the beginning of that. And what about our movie? This is more important. What about our movie? <laughs> I was like, is this a RuPaul song? I, the same I was thing. like, wait, I was like, is this a RuPaul video? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Hartfield, can I talk to you for a second? Hold on a sec. Who the hell are you? I'm Alex Red. I'm filming a doc. Did he grow a mustache? Kind of looks good with the mustache. He does. But not here and not on camera. You'd be at my offices tomorrow at two o'clock. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Thank that was pretty easy. He didn't really have to do much. <laughs> I guess I just don't understand why you did it. When I first saw those takes, I was scared to death. You understand? I mean, I even thought about destroying them. Well, I don't think he did anything in particular, but I mean, yeah, is it shitty to put out the tapes? Sure. But I don't think he was the cause of it. You fuck this thing up. When you, when you put the... Meet the Vicious up, Brothers. You have to... Oh, are, aren't these the directors? <laughs> what? The actual directors of this movie? This is like literally Grave Encounter to Meta, Meta Mega Mix. Yes. <laughs> this is the film I want to make, right? Mm. Think about it, we're already in the second act, right? I mean, you've been filming everything. Okay, I was a little on the fence about this, but I kind of like the idea that he is so needing and wanting to make this brand new horror film and mm -hmm. What better way is to go on site of some creepy place that mur possible murders happen? I just think it it doesn't seem that smart to be like, I just watched this video where a whole bunch of people died and I have the producer admitting that everybody died. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> oh, 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 we didn't see ass. We only saw slight cheek. Well, Alex, what do you say? They succeeded in building. Oh, Asylum, how I missed you. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't, like, just tear it down. Lock the gate. Oh, or, or that. Anything. <laughs> oh. Shit. What? Damn, mm -hmm. immediately. You know what? Good on you. Look at you. You're on top of it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, no. Also, you know that was a stunt double. They're giving us characters that were like, all right, they can die. They can die. It's fine. <laughs> Eight night vision cameras that we we're going to put up on tripods. Like Jesus, this guy has it all. How much money does this guy have? He just yeah, like, because on a whim, he was like, let's go I'm to gonna, LA yeah, for I'm a little go bit. To LA. What are the odds that they like have the cop right there in front of them? I'm also kind of surprised that it's still his shift. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Death away. Death away. Task ball cutters. We know that door all too well. And it's also the name of the person who originally emailed him. Shit, man. Damn, that's fucking high up. Let's go. For a second there, I thought they had a dog with them. Like. <laughs> Reality television series here in this very building. They encountered something horrible, something that would cut their lives. So are you just trying to be him? Because like, what kind of horror movie starts like this? Well, I mean, I guess Alfred Hitchcock did some some things like that. See, but I do almost feel like something like Hitchcockian, where it's like you're in the library and you're yeah. Like, All right, I kind of like it. In hopes of uncovering the truth behind the decade-long cover-up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. Right, Trevor. Way back, we're dropping these glow sticks behind us. 
We have this military grade. You must have a lot of glow sticks. We also all have these. Look, can you warn me next time I'm wearing fucking headphones? Sorry. Yeah, I would be so fucking annoyed. Speak freely. Give us a sign. Make a noise. Create a cold spot. Well, these spirits are going to love you mocking them. That's for sure. A weird miss. Let me see what is it. What? Yes, I told you this was real. Why did it just like fart it? <laughs> oh, Trevor, right? you fart it. Oh! Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> I, I smell that. I know exactly how that smells like. Literally, the tension is building with every step. <laughs> oh god. It's a bit much. Oh, it's it's very much. Oh, no Whoa. This is oh. a scare board. Oh no. You put your hand on a piece with somebody and then you try and get So this is a little a little different version of a Ouija board. I don't like. Although I thought that a spirit board usually had the letters in alphabetical order. This had them laid out like a keyboard. And that's how he was emailing. <gasps> for the, the through YouTube. Hey, fuck off, guys. D. D. E. E. A. De Niro. Robert De Niro. Oh, wait, no, he's alive. <laughs> Film everything. Yeah. Film everything. All right, the minute that that happened, I'm getting out of here. But we're fucked. We're fucked already. We're inside. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's the cop. Can you like announce yourself before you like barge in? I'm surprised that they even let them like walk around in here. What the fuck? What the hell was that? <laughs> All right, who else is with you? When the steps start happening, I get fucking creeped out. Hey, you want this right now? Shut the fuck up and stay here. Honestly, thank God they talk too much. Film. Whoa. Yeah, don't go towards the gunshots, dude. What you should at least do is like open the door so you can oh, yeah, see the outside. Make sure. They obviously haven't seen grave encounters. Yeah. Hold on, let's just split up into two groups. It's gonna be fast. No. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are we split up? Just go. Never split up. Again, this guy hasn't seen grave encounters because they all got fucked. Hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just gonna go. I'm happy that this uh, these directors got access to the same asylum mm -hmm. place. I wonder if this is an actual place that you can go visit. And that's how Grave Encounters 3 happens. We go visit the asylum. Uh-uh. <laughs> Come on, dude. No. Stay away. All right, that looked cool. That looked good. There was no character that went out the window, right? It was kind of like a in the first one. Correct. It was like a little like fake out. Oh, maybe the guard moved it. I mean, where the fuck did the guard? Oh, I love that it just leads to a wall. <laughs> Nothing will ever replace the gag when we realized that the front door leads to another hallway. That was a, a reveal in itself. We're on the fourth fucking floor. What the fuck are you talking about? Alex, can you get a read, please? Can you take a look at this? What's the point? So we can find- What the fuck? This is your fucking idea, dude. Yeah, come on. I mean, those kind of baby characters are scary. Uh-huh. I don't want to- Oh, oh, what is that? Mm -mm. Oh, that's terrifying. Yep, I don't like that. Oh my God. Maybe it's just the wind. Like every person thinks. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Where are your parents, girl? That's the first thing? <laughs> yep. That's the uh, language of saying, get the fuck out. <laughs> oh my 
my fucking god, I didn't know that she was floating towards them. Mm-hmm. Girl, sorry, goodbye, you're next. <gasps> oh shit, oh shit. Run, girl! Oh, all right, they had some budget for this one. <laughs> grab on, girl, grab on! I know. Oh my god, that's a twist on the little oh. yank and slay. I'm not gonna turn the camera off. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? It's like an ogre coming through. There's a troll in the dungeon! What is that? Uh, please don't go in there. Oh, okay. No! Yeah, don't Dude! Don't be a dumbass. Don't. Not that I care about this dude, but like, all right, let's go check it out. Oh my God. He's gone. He's gone, dude. No. Oh, oh poor guy. He was just trying to do his job. I know. Well, that's different. We never set anybody on fire. What did Trevor say? I never know what the fuck Trevor's saying. It almost sounded like he said we picked a stupid day to come here. Oh. But that doesn't make any sense. Just fucking stand there. Give me the crowbar. They got a crowbar. Right. Oh! Oh fuck! Oh shit. Oh, this is the guy for the poster! The tall man. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah. That's what I would not, that's gonna be in my nightmares. Oh. oh. What happened? Why did he turn into dust? Maybe also, he... we made it outside. Mm hmm. I wonder why they let them go. I don't know. Are they just like leaving their clothes there? Wouldn't it be such a fucking gag if the elevator opens their back in the asylum? Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. If that happens, I'm already feeling goosebumps. <laughs> oh, this is so horrible. Oh, this is the biggest dick tease that they've, like, imagined big thinking that you've escaped. <gasps> Take your bag, huh? Listen, this girl, out of all of them, is, like, committing 100%. Love. Losing it, but just now I know that you're all going through a really, really rough time. But what's your rating of Grave Encounters one now? Does that change to give it more props? Oh, god, see, I don't like this hallway because it was too dark. I need some sort of light. I can see you guys can't keep walking, come towards my voice. I'm right here. Okay, okay, good, good. Right here, right here. Now let's get Trevor, I guess. Oh, oh, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you? Oh my God. Oh, I think it's Sean or a witch. I don't know. My fucking foot's Guys, don't. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh -huh. Little kid noises in vents should not be a thing. Oh. oh Oh no, rat run! Oh God, I'm not, I can't do it. Can't do it again. Why does this continue to be a thing? 
I gotta, I gotta admit, girl. Welcome to another episode of Great Sean. Encounters. I think the wig is like not wigging for me because that's a wig that he's wearing, right? That's like straight up wig because it doesn't match his his facial hair. His facial hair, yeah. Two days, eleven hours. Nine months, two days, eleven hours. I've only been here for nine. Wait, did he go blind in one eye? Shut up! Shut up! You won't get this, but the, he reminds me of a certain It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia character. I'll try to put in a clip here. This is Rickety Cricket. Hey -oh. <laughs> he literally has the worst life imaginable. <laughs> he ain't lying. Alex, why are you filming this? This guy's completely out of his mind. Look at him, he's a fucking psycho. Imagine he just turns around and he's like perfectly groomed. Just like, all right, I'm ready. Ooh, he's throwing his back out in the, in. Oh shit, okay. What am I? doing this guy's been <laughs> trapped <sighs> John, this is just a freestanding door you, you, you go right through it maybe maybe not guys you went in an elevator that took you to the hallway that was not in the hotel i'm sure this leads to places where did you, you lose it the building He's he's almost going ninety percent golem. Oh my god, my yes. precious. Fucking lead anywhere, Alex. This isn't Narnia. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, but this is really fucking crazy. This is stupid. What is it with horror movies and red doors? I'm sure someone can make like a college essay on red doors in horror films. Match them together. Made it to a hole in the building you put. Do you think you chose to have like really like low rise jeans? <laughs> he literally like is reminded like he's about to go like hello la 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 hello la 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 I'm at Jeffy. <laughs> maybe there's a trick to it. I mean, he said he mapped it all out. Yeah, maybe the front door. There's a way to like get out. Oh! All right, that was cool. That was cool. This is kind of like a weird puzzle. Whoa! All right, so this movie does have some interesting things. We really putting cameras back up? Well, you know, might as well. How many? How many? Uh, how much time is twenty-seven hours? Day and three hours. They got in it, so it would be 6 a.m. the next day. Whoa. Assuming that they entered at 3 a.m. like they said they were going to. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he going to just drop it on somebody's face? <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> it was like... All right, let me just grab it. Fuck you, Alex. Fuck you, Jonathan. Is Trevor just on his own? Uh-huh. Trevor. You get in my room. You don't want to meet a pain painful demise, bro. Anybody there? Uh-uh, I would stay in, the, in that stall. Sean, you scared the shit out of me. What do you want? Are you okay? Oh! Sean, no! Oh my god! No. Oh! Oh my god! Sean, why? Oh, this is... All right, that was disturbing. I did not see that coming. Awesome. Do you think Sean is like under like either like a spell, a curse, or is he like giving sacrifices to the to whatever entity is here? I think he's like making. I think he's trying to make a trade with the building that like he gives them new souls that he and can I you, I can get out. <laughs> I'm Lance Preston, and maybe he is seeing somebody who is like helping him out. 
What if that's like like his milked over eye can see the spirit? Yeah. Stop playing this character. Ooh, okay. I'm getting out of here. Oh, showing up the abs. Oh no. It literally is just a door in the middle of the room. Unless one side is actually like the real building that you can get out of. Collect, Collect the, tapes. the tapes. You only collected footage. Mayor Pussy Flesh? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, that's what I read. Oh, oh no. I don't like oh. this. <gasps> it's just like a like a wormhole i think this is where we saw the end of the movie yeah and they did perform stuff on him so maybe that's why they're telling them don't go there oh 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 ah nope nope that's Christmas. fucking kidding me oh god oh no oh what what? Oh, this is messed up. This is like Game of Thrones level. <gasps> oh, fuck you! <laughs> well, now we know. Definitely don't go into the surgical ward. Wait, you said you could read this. I'm trying. Right here, you sure? Right here. I don't fucking know. <gasps> All right, that was cool. That was really cool. Transition. <laughs> Your friend was dead. The moment he stepped foot in the building. All right, you guys got to beat him up now. I don't even know whose team I'm on. It's going to be me. <laughs> now you guys are going to have to stay behind. I can't believe they like made him the villain of this movie. That's yeah. so crazy. It's the only way I can fucking die already. I'm not The building chose me. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. You got the bat. You can do something with that. Again, I don't know who I'm rooting for. So like... Whoever survives, let's go. I think that the building means they want Alex to finish the film. So they need to kill the villain. Oh. What in the world? Oh, because they got his blood. Oh, I did like that the way that they went around it, that was that the spirits were the ones filming. <laughs> I think it can leave now, right? You should be good. I hope so. Finish the film. <laughs> She's literally dying over there. <laughs> You're the star. What's going on? Explain yourself. Only one of us is getting out, so what do you say, Jennifer? Oh, Lord. Thanks. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is messed up. I really was hoping Jennifer would win. <gasps> oh, oh. Jennifer. Oh, that's rough. What? 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 It's the exit. Wow. Okay. Are you really gonna put out this movie? What the fuck? Why are we in the middle of the desert? I don't know. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> He's just walking in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. Does he think that he's in the desert? I don't know. What city am I in? I'm in Los Angeles. Whoa. Maybe he really wanted to drop off his film. <laughs> he had to walk there. I was as surprised as anybody when this kid comes walking into my office to tell me that he's just filmed a sequel to Grave Encounters. I mean, I thought... Yeah, but are you going to do an investigation? Because these actors are nowhere to be found. Ghosts sending messages through the internet, uh, young girls being killed, uh, guys being sucked through walls. It's wild stuff. Well, that's a kind of different film if we're really going to get into it. <laughs> guys being sucked through walls. 
All right, don't go looking for It's not worth it. There's nothing there. He scares me. Uh-huh. He's, oh, I wonder what the date was there. Oh, Damn. shit. All right, girl. I see you. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to Grave Encounters 2. Overall, I, I still prefer the first one. Just because the first one really, like, really made us trapped in the building throughout mm -hmm. the entire film. Like the beginning section, yeah, we took some time to get to know the characters. They were going around the building, but it took it took its time getting there, right? This one really got super interesting towards the second half of the film. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think I like the first one a little bit better just because of the surprise of like, you're trapped in the building mm -hmm. forever. But I do think that this was like a good way to do a sequel that wasn't just repeating the movie again. Well, there were elements where I was like, oh, we're gonna do the same thing again a little bit, right? But they did surprise me, like with the elevator gag. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't calling that and I was very confused. But then the minute that you said it, it ran chills down my spine. I was like, oh, okay. You're keeping up us on our toes a little bit. Um, but I will say I could like the beginning half of this movie you could dwindle it down to 10 minutes, yeah. five minutes. I didn't need to have like 20 minutes of worth of him just going to Hollywood, <laughs> I said Florida, Hollywood, talking to the director, coming back, getting there, you know, um, it just felt, it just felt it lagged, oh, not lagged, but like dragged a little bit in the beginning. But mm -hmm. then once it picked up, once we were in the asylum and, and things were going crazy, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, overall, still a really good movie. I think so, yeah. I would like this, I actually would love just watching the first one and the second one back to back. Oh yeah, I think that'd be good. All right guys, you know what to do. Comment down below, let us know your thoughts. Let us know your review of this movie. Does it compare to the first one? Do you like the first one or do you like this one better? But until next time, we have been your source for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.